Today on Girl Chat, Khloe Kardashian is rumored to be pregnant? Plus, the Sports Illustrated cover controversy. Then, we've got celebrity gossip straight from the shade room. Are they just friends or are they friends with benefits? And we're taking a trip back to the 90s. We've got Christina Milian and Lance Bass. It's like a throwback moment. The real is live. to the Reels Instagram page. Use the hashtag Girl Chat Live to join in on the conversation. We really want you to do that, so make sure you do it. Now, before we start, Jeannie, yes. we are all, we just want to congratulate you because you yes. did something very yes. big last night. We're very proud of you. Your documentary, Stopping Traffic, premiered last night. You guys, yes. Jeannie is one of the executive producers of the film. And it's intended to help educate and unite people together to put an end to human trafficking. Wow, amazing. You know, yes. It's a amazing. huge accomplishment mm. to do something like this. It finally premiered. It's something that you've been working so hard at. And we are just so proud of you. We, we all are. came yes. to the yes, red carpet. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe it. I think that was the part that got me most emotional, you guys, is Aww. that we all stood together for freedom. Yes. Yeah. You know? That, that was the, the thing I saw when I laid my head in bed. At this moment, there are 46 million people engaged in some type of form of modern slavery. Mm -hmm. So this film covered stories from male and female survivors and a confessional from a former trafficker. I know. So it's a hard wow. story that to tell. That was really moving. Right? And I can't believe it was my first time actually working. You guys, I collaborated with monks from the Sediathan Turf and Retreat. Obviously, I've never been there. <laughs> but like monks to be able to put this story together. They're amazing, amazing. people. Just being able to have a conversation with them, you would never think, like, I love the fact that when you introduced me, you were like, no, you don't understand. She's mad cool. You could talk about it. Yes. So not yes. judgmental. They're just like unconditional love walking yes. around. It's and you had other thing. support there, too. Yes. Well, that's what I learned, too, is that you shouldn't be afraid to ask for help because I get anxiety, mm -hmm. but you should believe that people want to be a part of a yes. greater change. For sure. So shout out to, like, Laverne Cox, you showed up, yes. Kelly Osborne, Russell Simmons, man. I mean, so Paris dope. Hilton even called me up personally and, like, gave Aww. me the sweetest message. Shane Mitchell, you've been in this fight for, with me for the longest time, but the best part is... Knowing we had to wake up at 4 a.m., my family, these ladies here at The Real, Aww. came and supported me. Yeah. I don't think Everybody. you understand how proud we are of you. We're so proud to have you that you're a part of this show. We're proud to call you a friend. You are a world changer. Yes. And I hope that you recognize that, that what you've done with this film yep. is going to change the world. Yes. So thank and you. And change thank lives. You. It was so educational. Yes. I learned so much. I just want to highlight something that was yes. so amazing about yeah. your film. I think a lot of the times we focus on our own lives, our own little bubble. Yeah. Yes, we have our own stresses, our problems, mm -hmm. our issues. But that film was a wake-up call for me wow. to remind myself and others that there are some crazy things happening underneath your eyes, right, right in front of you. And I wanted to tell you personally, you have a gift of empathy that is so... Yes. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. yes. I am so proud that you have acknowledged that gift to help the world. You keep on shining brightness. You keep on doing it. You're beautiful for others. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're awesome. Thank you so much. So you guys can also take part of supporting this film. It's available on Friday in select cities for one week. 
tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Check out stoppingtrafficfilm.com for theater locations. Obviously, you have to pre-order the film now on iTunes. Yes. Go to the Instagram page, at the Genie Mai. I'm gonna post facts and images, and the number one way you can help, of course, is to repost our images. We're gonna post them out yeah, there. Like Every that. soul counts is the hashtag. Thank you for letting me talk about this, America. Oh, of, yeah. course. Yes. of course. Yes. Of course. Yes. And You're awesome. We are live, yes. so today is Wednesday, so the movie would be out Friday. Yes, which well, that's right. You said tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. I have, that's a crazy thing. If you <laughs> haven't slept, we're all a little delirious. We, we are, so, so you never know what you're going to get. told me to do jumping jacks out here to wake myself up, and then she didn't do them. <laughs> She's like, we're going to do jumping jacks to wake up. I'm like, I'm looking dumb started. by myself. Once the music started, I was gone. You know, I mean, just wait. You saw I up. did the jumping jacks. So we're going to be a little did. off today because we lost a lot of sleep, and I thank you but guys for it. But it's okay. Great yeah, cause. It, it was. Great cause. Yeah. Thank you. Like we said before, we are so proud of you, Jeannie. Yeah. Okay. So up next, it turns out that the Kardashians are one fertile family, Oh, my God. Yeah. It was already a I family. swear to God. Just five days after TMZ broke the news that Kylie Jenner is pregnant with boyfriend Travis Scott's baby girl, they are now also reporting that her half-sister Chloe is now pregnant, too. Sources claim... Mm -hmm. Sources claim the Kardashian is expecting her first child with boyfriend of a year and NBA star Tristan Thompson and that the couple is thrilled. If true, this makes Chloe the third member of the family expecting at the same time. Damn. Kim and Kanye reportedly are expecting their third baby by surrogate as well. So they just keep going and going and, and growing. growing. You growing. get a baby and you get a baby yes. and you get a baby and you get a baby and you... So... Ladies, do you think that this is some type of Kardashian pregnancy pact, or is it just naturally happening? Well, you know, there actually was, we talked about it before when it happened, I think this was like a year or two ago, where the girls in high school did a pregnancy pact. If you don't know what a pregnancy pact is, it's when a group of friends get together, in this case sisters, and say, we promise we're all going to get pregnant at the same time so that we can have our babies People at the same that? time. Yes, uh, that's those crazy. Those girls in high school did it. That was even crazier. But this is sisters. Um, I would totally do this. Oh, you would? You would? Like, yes, I'm talk. trying to convince all you guys to have babies. You sure did. Nah. I'm not doing that. I, I'm literally trying to convince Tam. I'm like, come on, Tam. No. We could get pregnant together because, no, I'm not pregnant. But oh, if we're planning, like, I'm like, oh, my God, that'd be so awesome. We could all have babies No, that's together. something you handle on your own, and baby And then our love. babies can play together. You can set a play date. No. You know what Adrian's no. plot is? <laughs> no, Adrian's plot is, the reason why she would want to do that is because she would lose a drinking par partner. Think about it if you get pregnant. <laughs> so she wants to loop that drinking partner into the nine months of yeah, sobriety. because then her. everybody's going to be drinking and you're not, and that's not fun. Well, like, if we're all... If I'm going to suffer, let's all suffer together. <laughs> no, this is the thing. The reality is having a baby is not an accessory and it's not something to do just for fun exactly. or just for, like, Obviously. a trend. No, but I'm saying, I just want to get that narrative out there. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Having a baby is a huge re responsibility, and I think sometimes when you're when you're young, I know for me, I did it. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, having a baby would just be so. I mean, they're so cute. It'll be so much fun until you have that baby. It's a huge. It is fun. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. it's a huge responsibility, yeah. and you are a mother forever. Yeah, and you well, can't forget that. I think Chloe has been. Uh, it's been shown on their show Absolutely. that she's she been wants wanting a baby. a baby for a very long time. She's grown. She obviously has an established life, an established career. You know, she's been yeah. in this relationship for over a year now. Uh, yeah, my eggs are I'm happy for so y'all ain't got to worry about me. I ain't having I'm the babies. I'm happy for Chloe. You know. What, what we talking about? The car? They yes. are just growing. We ain't gonna never get rid of them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The Technically, these coming. babies won't be Kardashians. You They'll be Scott one is a, and one is... Travis Scott, so that'll be Scott. But they, you know they're going to hashtag, well, hashtag it. They're going to hyphenate it. It'll be part of the Kardashian, be Kardashian clan. North is in Kardashian. North is Northwest. But you still, they're still part of the family. Yeah. They're, part of the, the, the they're part of the family. We're not going to get rid of them. I do hate the fact that everybody <laughs> was saying that, like, Kris Jenner orchestrated this. Like, what do you think she is? Like, a magician? Like, like yeah, she's out there giving fertility pills? Like, what do you think I she... mean, it was going to happen. It was bound to happen. Yes. I mean, because they're all around the same age. Yeah. So it was bound to... I I think Kylie, to me, she's a little young to be, because 20 is young yeah. to have a baby, but... I think she's, she's 20? 
Yeah. She's 20. I didn't think she was 19. In my mind, she'll forever be a little girl, okay? Uh, I, yeah, oh, she's 20 years old. Her, but she's very yeah. sweet, too. Very, it's, very I forget, sweet. You know them, so that's why you... I that's that's why I think it's crazy. I get I it. Chris Jenner's an incredible manager, an incredible businesswoman. But you guys, she can't get people pregnant. Like, what do you think she's doing? Like, I just But think, they could have planned it. They could have been planned. Yes, they could have planned it. She can't get her kids pregnant without their consent. Well, what did the people have to say about well, it? Well, here's about what people. some of you had to say. Just BEC says, I hope it's true. This family better not be using pregnancy as a publicity stunt to get people to no. watch their next season. I, I don't mean, think that's true. But it's going to make people watch. I yes, tell you that. It does. If, okay, if all three of them pregnant, you, well, you know, Kim and her surrogate. That, you know, okay. The surrogate is pregnant. Is okay. she going to be on TV, the surrogate? I, that's actually a great question. Of I'm sure she think? signed so many contracts to stay Can you on, imagine? on the low. Are you kidding no, me? She's asking, will she be a part of the show? Will she be on TV? I don't. Right. The fact that we haven't Can seen her by now. Can you imagine Kanye probably going to the surrogate and bothering the surrogate? I would love stuff. to know what you would know? the price of that, that surrogate. Like, how much does a surrogate get paid today to do something like that on average? I don't know. I heard it's a lot of money. Yeah. It's like six figures, if I think. Kim and Car- if it's Kim and Kanye, I'd be charging a lot if Shoot. I was a surrogate. Yeah. Like, uh, Hell yeah. You, you can come up with some money. Lonnie, would you ever actually be a surrogate? I need somebody? a new house. I need a car. I would carry that. I said, <gasps> look, my eggs are scrambled, but I can still carry a baby. Tam, okay? why don't you carry Tam's baby? You want Tam to have a baby so bad. Tam, Tam, I Tam love you and I love it. Adam. I'm not carrying y'all baby. Y'all would not pay me enough money. Okay? They have some big babies, too. No, I need a house. I need a car. I need, um... Um, financial compensation Ew, you're a for like diva. 18 <laughs> years because I'm giving for you a gift years. for 18 years. Are you yes. pimping your yes. uterus right now? Yes, I will. Yes, I will pimp my uterus out. Oh my gosh! <laughs> We're going to take you to some of this story as it unfolds. But speaking of covers, Sports Illustrated unveiled the cover of their latest issue titled "A Nation Divided: Sports United." Take a look. You see that right there? Notice anything wrong with it? Eh, no, some of you say yes. For an issue focusing on the protests going on in the sports world, it's kind of strange that Colin Kaepernick is nowhere to be found on the cover. Oof. People blasted the magazine online yesterday, including cover star Steph Curry, critiquing them for featuring figures like NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell, but not Colin. So Twitter user at Nick underscore pants even tweeted out his version of what the cover should be with the caption, fixed it. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Actually, no, you've got to be honest. When you look at that, that it looks, looks more better. correct. Yes. yes. Now, when asked about the controversy, Sports Illustrated executive editor uh, Stephen Canella said, quote, Colin Kaepernick is on that cover. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. He says, Colin Kaepernick is on that cover, Where? even if his face and name aren't. We all know who stands behind this movement. Wow. You know what? That's the like shade? you ever argue with a guy and you like maybe you get into a relationship and you like saying something about love. Well, you know I love you. I ain't gotta tell you, you know, yeah, yeah. by the way, I'm, that's how I feel that his yes. his explanation his was yes. about this. Or know? like when you get left off of an invitation and people are you're like, did you forget to invite me? Like you were there in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> was it? You know, like, that's ridiculous. I think that this is so I actually think this is terrible. I think even the fact that no one is kneeling on the cover is shady in itself. Oh yeah. So you're having the conversation, but somehow everyone's standing. And actually, I think there was one person kneeling, but you can't see them kneeling. He's in the second row to the right, and all the, the way to the right. And oh, that's yeah. Photoshop. That's MLB player. That's actually Photoshop yeah, because Steph and, and LeBron and Roger, they never linked arms Hobby, together. Yeah. So it's like, and they're, uh, they're also missing women. There's only one woman on there, yeah. Candace uh, Parker. And so the whole, I, I just think that. Do you think there's shade? Yes. Oh, I think yes. No, no, so you, shade. you know what I mean is, do you think they purposely. A hundred percent. Yeah, guy I can't get so picked up well. by an NFL team. They're not going to put him on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Yeah. He it's can't get same... a job or get on the cover exactly. of Exactly. It's of so a whack. He's now. been blacklisted. Yeah. Clearly. So then, yeah. The question is then, then what does the magazine cover mean then if he's not on it well, what is they were message? trying to say is that sports is going to unite the country and okay. it's just like right now it's all about timing this is just bad timing to put this type of cover cover out it would be nice if they would give and really acknowledge colin i mean because the point is we're yeah. still losing the fat yeah. 
of the matter of why he was making the protest, which Correct. is because of police social, brutality. Yes, and social And I still say justice. NFL, they're just protesting because they got upset at what President yeah. Trump said. And it's that's what my thing is. I want to make sure that people understand why they're pro protesting in the first place. Yes. You don't want to just do it because it's becoming a, tr you know, a, a trend. Yeah. It's becoming cool to do it. You don't want to just do it to say, you know, I don't like Trump. Really know why you're protesting. Yes. yes. Well, I, like I said, it's injustice. two different things. I think yeah. the Petit Colin uh, issue brutality. is more important than what that is actually representing, which is just, oh, you know, they're upset at Trump, and so now they're going to protest because yeah. they have a right to protest. As a non-sports fan, right. I'll be honest, I don't watch a lot of sports, mm -hmm. but the reason why it does affect me to not see Colin's face on there is because his face and his actions alone taught me one message, which is go against the grain. Yes. Take the road less traveled. Yes. And that should be a message that any kid who looks at that, he, you're not looking at his stats, you're not looking at what team he plays, you're like, that was a brother who wasn't afraid to speak up, even if it's the non-favorite opinion. Right. So I miss him on there. Yeah. yeah. I think he absolutely should they be They should have put him on there. Yeah. And well, I we have to take a break, but coming up, Twitter is making a big change that is getting mixed reviews. We'll talk about it right after this. You're watching The Real. The Real. The Real. On an all new The Real, is Girl Check on Wild. I can't just yell, Fat! <laughs> Plus, we've got 10 Days in the Valley star, Erica Christensen. I love it. Then, some things we've just got to tap out. Tap out! Bad lace front wigs, please! The real. Welcome back to The Real. Let's get right back into some more live girl chat. It's been announced that for the first time in its 11-year history, Twitter will be lifting the 140-character limit for tweets and upping it to 280. Mm. Yes! That's double. <laughs> double. <laughs> the company announced it will begin testing the new limit a few users at a time, hopefully you, Jeannie. Yes. And then they will release it to the, the public. Upon hearing the news, Chrissy Teigen tweeted, quote, literally, my only talent was being able to think of tweets exactly 140 <laughs> characters long. I don't know if I'll be able to alter this to two at 280. She then tweeted again saying, for the record, that was 140 characters. Boom. I love her. She is so witty on her Twitty. She's not lying, though. Witty on her Twitty. She is witty on it her It is Twitty. a gift. It really is a gift really to is. shorten yourself to bite I size. think I have that gift. You and do? that was the purpose yeah. of... Uh, first of all, I don't read half of the tweets I get anyway. Now you're going to extend it to 280? That's just more people criticizing me longer. I mean, I don't like I that. I knew she was going to say that. You know what that. I'm saying? I, I just kind don't of agree, like Jeannie. What? Why? Because you know how you have to like read pages on Instagram of what people sometimes yeah, think. It's you know, a it's like a long oh It's a post. novel. Now I'm gonna have to do that on Twitter. Just get to the point. But this is the thing about the, um, where they came up with this was that um, when you look at different languages like Japanese, Korean, yes. and Chinese, uh, my people, they they can use <laughs> they can express themselves because of their characters less. So yes. that's why they said, yeah, like well, maybe... like one symbol is like a whole sentence, right? right? So they, they said, well, it kind of, in a way, you got to let the English and other languages to express, too. So that's why they're going to try to see how it is. But a lot of people are getting upset because they said, you know, the purpose of the tweet, it was just a scientific thing for 140 characters. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, if you wanted a longer tweet, you just do thread. No, 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 that's, it's not the same. No, it's, no. it's the same. As too, a woman too much. who Lonnie constantly Constantly shades for being long-winded. I just want to say hashtag long-winded people matter too. <laughs> they do. Come on. I happen to be more robust in my feelings. I, it's like then you why do you just do a thread. America, why do you go to Costco? Because you want the value pack. You oh want more. You want both. I'm gonna send you some value pack tweets right a now. Value pack tweet is called a thread genie. No. Okay. Oh, you have Sean Telly96 over here saying, in this fast-paced, short attention span society, it's not necessary. See? It does nothing but give others more to say, negative or positive. Thank I'd you. I'd much rather you get to the point, like Tam said. And then all no. that, you know what, too? All that misspelling. You know how people be misspelling on Twitter? It's gonna be a, a wreck now. No, <laughs> let me tell you, the grass is always greener on the other side. And this is facts, you guys. 
I literally always complain that I can't fit everything in 140 characters. Kind of how I complain about 15 seconds on Insta Story. How it always <laughs> cuts me off. It's so <gasps> rude. I need to extend Insta Story. <laughs> yeah, and please extend Insta yes, Story. Yes. That's my petition. Oh, but Lord. okay, now that we have the 280, people are gonna complain about that too. People exactly. are always gonna find it's something to complain about. It's just gonna get bigger about. and bigger and bigger. Just Got keep it, it the way yeah. it is. That's Ladies, my thing. has anybody complained about anything being bigger? Come on. Teeny mind. It's no, too early I, for that. No, it's not too early. We all early. have extensions in your hair. Extend the Twitter as well. I love there it. You go. Do you miss slap bracelets, AOL dial up, Doc Martens, grunge music, and beepers? Well, you're in luck because our next guests are bringing the 90s back like you've never seen it before. They are both actors, Grammy nominated singers, and the host of the new MTV show, 90s House. Please give it up for Christina Milian and Lance Bass. <laughs> Okay, Thank Christina, you. you had your, your birthday was yet yes. yesterday, yes. right? Yes. Yes. What did you do? Happy birthday. Oh, she's still celebrating. Oh, she's still yeah. celebrating. I, I rolled in here from the party last night. Yes. Let's okay, just say that. Girl. No, I had a great time. Last night I went to Beauty and Essex. Wow. My family, my friends were there, had a dinner, partied all night. Uh -huh. It was lovely. This one starts oh. our party at 11 yes. o'clock last night. Oh. We have to be here at 6.30 in the morning. The party started uh -huh. at 11. I could do it. I can handle but it. You and Jeannie so can hang together. She right? still tried to make it the tr to the trafficking premiere, though. She was like, what time oh. is it again? I was like, go oh, celebrate yeah. your no, birthday. I, I'm a multitasker. I love getting that. I was in bed at 9.30 last night. Looking out for my friends. I know. Okay, so Lance, before we talk about your show, we heard that you are a super fan of Big Brother. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, show. would you ever do Celebrity Big Brother? I mean, I, <laughs> there would have to be a lot of variables for me to do Celebrity Big Brother. <laughs> okay. uh, it is my favorite show. I would dream to be in that house, but I don't want it to be filmed. I want to do it without a camera. Oh, oh my God. Uh, that seems like fun now. So, uh, yeah, I mean, CBS, I mean, sure, I'll go in the house. Uh, yeah, but uh, I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> okay. I love it. Well, you are both hosting this new fat show. You like that? Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, hey. On MTV called 90s House. Now, Christina, we know that they're going to have a lot of 90s stars on the show. Yes. Who can we expect? Oh, there's salt in Oh, we, we got Pep and Spinderella. Wow. Yes. Mario okay. Lopez. Kid and Play. Kid, oh, Kid and Play. Kid that was really epic. Yeah, Bill seen the Bellamy. Reaction. Bill I mean, we, Bellamy. We don't give too much away, but I mean, there's so many people that come through this house. Yeah, uh, and they're all the like authentic, out. real people from the 90s, and it's like such a great, we had such a great time, and we have such a great time shooting it, because I feel like, personally, like a teenager, like it's really authentically like the, the way we dress, mm -hmm. wow. everything, the music, and bringing the makeup, things from everything. the 90s. It's oh, like, yeah. this is what the 90s was and what makes it so Fab, and why we're here today, and we're, you know, it was such a great change and a, a turn in the century. So. I looked horrible <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> Don't let me wrong. Let's judge for ourselves, okay? Because you guys, we have a clip. Oh, <laughs> well, folks, we're back at the bounce pad to see who will be chilling and who will be illin'. Today is Who Got Game. We asked you to create a new video to an iconic 90s song. We wanted to see sweet moves, fresh looks, and moments that bring to life the spirit of the song. And one of you nailed it. My sister. <laughs> we went for that. Like, that was authentic. Those yeah. hairstyles, the makeup, everything. That was actually the everything. best outfit that I had. Yeah, I know. So you looked good, I, actually. I got off easy on it. Wait till you see my hammer look. It's really, <laughs> oh, wow. really something. Do you yeah. do the dances? Mm -hmm. Hammer time Oh, dances. you better believe it. Oh, yeah. right. so it's a quick. That's what's great about it being on MTV is there's so much music yeah, in yeah. the yes. show. And uh, that was, was so much fun to go down memory lane of the best music decade ever. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to throw a memory word back from back there. Lance, what was the wackest fashion oh my God. look oh. you've ever had? Yeah, well, I hate to say this in front of you because you're like Miss Fashion. I want to know. Uh, but we had the worst fashion. I mean, I don't know why they didn't tell us NSYNC boys how to dress back then, but... Keep it 100. Uh, it I don't terrible. think us girls just uh, agree with that. I think no, we were fans my, that you had on. Do, there is one outfit, though. Wait, 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 wait. Let's oh, yeah. see if our minds can sync, okay? Because okay, I love some of your I, I've said this too. a couple of times, but it was American Music Awards, I think, 1999. Okay. I got you. Okay. Could it be this outfit oh, right here? Oh, this picture. Yes, that's oh. it. The turtleneck. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes. How awful great. is that? The oversized jacket, I mean, the raincoat. 
Oh, you guys were the turtle. So much. It was probably pleather, I guess. Um, but I remember Joan Rivers gave us most waterproof that night on the red carpet. Yeah. So you know we did something right. All right. Well, Christina, other than in sync. Obviously, uh -huh. who was your favorite '90s icon? Ooh, uh, for me in the '90s, I'd have to go with like Janet Jackson, yes. mm -hmm. um, Madonna, yes. TLC, Michael Jackson. Yes. Okay. Michael Jackson is just so oh, man. Yes. He's just hands down forever gonna be, you know, he's the, the legend, the number one for me. So, yeah. yeah, Michael, I actually even got to sing with him. Yeah, yeah, which was such a pleasure. We sang together. Yes, we were together. I'm not. Oh, yes. no. But that's oh, you. The United, with it. United oh. we stand. Oh my gosh, see, I'm, yeah. I should be on that stage, y'all. See. Chris Kirkpatrick, you're, but you're I had to leave. This is the last. Okay, this is the last time we talked to Michael. You go to bed Michael. at 9:30. What? No, I had to go. <laughs> <to> my, <laughs> no, I had to do a movie premiere in New York the next day, oh. and it was the first movie. Come premiere. on, you so, missed I, out. I know. Oh, you missed and out. Michael got Thanks so Michael. upset. And he was like, "What is for the children? What is for the children?" <laughs> I'm like, "I'm like, but Michael, it's my first movie <laughs> premiere. I have oh to, gosh. I have to go, so I couldn't do that last." I finale. held it down. We held it down for you. Yeah, thank yes. you very I much. I got you. Oh wow. We had a good time. He's, he's calling Michael, and Michael's personally telling him this, by the way. It's for the children. <laughs> it's for the children. Uh, uh, now, Christina, you've actually been in the recording studio. Speaking yeah. of performing with Michael, yes. when can we hear new music? Hey. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm on, on tour in, um, next month. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 A song by the end of the month of October. So yeah, in this fourth quarter, I'm work. I've been working on it what like is the lately. Feel for the, new music? the feel for it is more international, okay. a little bit more la Latin. Yes. All right, now you two may be the hosts and judges on the show, but today we're gonna put you to the test in a Ooh. trivia game we're calling the Real '90s House. You guys ready for this? <laughs> Gun, <don't Yeah>. <laughs> Hey. Exactly. <laughs> Each of us will read a trivia question related to items you will find Ooh. in a real 90s house. Like, what yes. would you find there? The first one to honk your bicycle horn. <laughs> we got that sound right there. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and guess wow. correctly gets a point. So if you guess incorrectly, no one is awarded points, and we will move on to the next question. Now, the 90s fan with the most points at the end of the game wins bragging rights and a prize for our lovely audience. <laughs> I got this. I got this. I got you. I got a good one. Okay, here we go. Okay. What was the AOL greeting when you signed on to the world? <laughs> oh, oh, he landed. Uh, welcome. No. Oh, what was it? Oh, what was it? it? Okay. <laughs> you've got. Oh, you've got. Yeah. Yes. Come on. Yes. 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 He didn't get right. mail. He didn't get mail. Yeah. Okay. Do I get points, points for doing no the voice at least? Here's the next one. You had to feed this virtual reality digital pet every. Okay. Oh, Tamagotchi. Yes. Oh Okay, your Titanic VHS was probably rented from this blue and yellow. Oh, oh. Lay yes. Yes. oh hey. Okay. Yes. One point. Yes. Uh, hey, that's, okay. that's a good call. One point and one point. Okay, <laughs> your underwear drawer may have been filled with this brand made popular <laughs> by Marky Mark. Lance. Lance. Calvin Klein. Oh, yes. that's good. That's two, two points one. for Lance. One for Christina. Okay, now the original Bop It <laughs> was all the rage which one of these was not part of the instruction. Okay. okay. Twist it, bop it, flick it. <laughs> oh. 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 Okay, oh. flick it was not it. There's no flick it. There's no flick it. The answer You're is right. right. Yeah. 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 Uh, oh, okay, Lance. home slot. Oh. Was it called? Home slot, Lance. missed that hole. Was it called Gak? Yeah! yeah. yeah. You got 